Did you taste my beer? Of course. You have me waiting around here. All right, then, here we go. So what is it you want to talk about today? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the Tangier trip. Today, we're going to visit Tangier Island. Tangier Island is often referred to as the soft shell capital of the world, and it is a unique place to visit. Located on the Chesapeake Bay in Virginia, Tangier is made up of small islands divided by marshes and small tidal streams. It is located 12 miles off the mainland and it is only accessible by boat or airport. The island is about 1 mile wide and 3 miles long, and it has about 700 residents, most of whom make their living by crabbing or oystering. So, why did you want to visit Tangier? Well, I didn't want to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What do you mean? No. Um, I, did, I wasn't planning on that, but I just wanted to go with you. Thank you. I did uh, find out that, uh, well, you told me too, that Tangier Island is uh, um, destined to uh, disappear eventually, so unfortunately. So that makes it a very interesting type of trip. I wanted to see it again before it disappeared, maybe in 20 or 30 or 40 or 50 years. The issue is that the land and the town are under the threat of disappearance due to the combination of rising sea levels and wave-induced erosion. In addition, the glacial rebound phenomenon causes land subsidence, so the island is sinking nearly two millimeters a year. As a result, Tangier Island has lost two-thirds of its land mass since 1850 when it was first mapped, and it is calculated that it will have to be abandoned between 2030 and 2065. Got bit by a mosquito, by the way. So, what do you think about the drive down to Reedsville this morning? Look, for this particular road trip, we left Richmond, Virginia at 7.45 a.m. and drove for about 2 hours and 90 miles through mostly Virginia's countryside and long bridges. We made it to the docks at around 9.40 a.m., just in time to park, get the tickets, and get on board. When we got here and we parked, we found a really good uh, parking spot. Uh, we walked all the way there. Yeah, it was uh, nice. We got on the boat and we have got really good seats. Uh, it was actually very laid back, very, very nice. Weather was nice, breezy and nice, yeah. Oh, it went by super quick. Kind of windy and cool, but enjoyable. There were uh, some points of interest here going out. Um, there was an uh, uh, ostrich, ostrich? Osprey. Osprey. <laughs> <laughs> it was an ostrich nest, like this big. <laughs> no, it was a hole in there. In the a hole water. in there. <laughs> How many have you been drinking already? I, I know you've back. Um, but um, what was the question? Oh, you thought we saw, okay. Yeah. I was, I was to Some other points of interest, you know, like see, really cool. Really cool. Um, we, we saw dolphins, which, yeah, was a bonus there. We get to the island and then, you know, the first thing that you see is uh, people getting in uh, these um, golf carts for several people, like six people. I got room for four for a tour of the island. Uh, in the past, apparently, you could actually just get there and rent a, um, a golf cart, which looks like you can't do anymore because of COVID or something. Uh, so um, we were fortunate and actually Anne went to the, um, to the store there, to the place and asked and there were like one or two available. So fortunately she got us one. What were you doing when I was ordering? Getting the golf cart. Well, I was getting that. 
she went to get the food, I got lost a little bit. <laughs> Is that what happened? To yeah, because I didn't know how to, I didn't know how to come back. <laughs> I went all the way to to the end of the block, and then I was like, "What do I do here?" Lorenz, and we got it to go, so we could have it at our own time and poke around and go down to the beach. I don't know. It's just something about being in a golf cart that kind of makes you feel like a kid again because you're just tooling around, the wind is in your hair, it's just fun, that's all. We went to the beach. And what did you uh, think about the beach? I think the beach was nice, very windy though. Uh, but it was nice actually, the weather was very uh, pleasant. I mean, you could not ask for a prettier or better day. It's not hot, there's a breeze, it's sunny. I mean, it's the definition of perfect. In general terms, it was like, we stayed there for like five minutes only just to check it out and then I got hungry. I did, I mean, I love the beach. I think that was my favorite part was us just walking down there. So we had to go back and eat the food. And went to Lorraine's, which is one of the two <laughs> restaurants in the island. Um, and she got us some really good fries with crab dip. Crabby fries. We ate a lot at the uh, <laughs> at place, so. <laughs> Loved the crabby fries which were like super fantastic. Um, those yeah, were those were great. The, um, the, the crab cake sandwich was not good, um, but it was okay. The island itself is interesting. In general terms, for the little we could see, there were no evident signs of sinking. Although I am sure if you were to ask around, people would point you on the direction of these areas in question. Roads are very narrow and with enough space only for golf carts. We only saw two cars in the three hours we spent here. The island is quite small and easy to navigate. All activity is centered on one section of the island, which we could call downtown, and most points of interest are located along Main Ridge Road. Views were great, but it messed up my hair. <laughs> We also got a chance to catch very cool views of the island from above and also to see those areas up close and personal. We drove through the roads and walked all the areas, running into a few interesting sightings of nature, plants and animals. An interesting observation is that it appears most people who have lived here are buried here. We saw tombs in front yards and particularly around the church. Finally, it was time to uh, go back to the mainland. Uh, we finally left the island promptly, as scheduled. We enjoyed some of the views on the way back. Um, the ride back was, um, was good. I took a nap. <laughs> I took a nap, and it was a really good nap. And eventually we made it back safely to the mainland. So now we're in this place that is called, what is it called? Reedsville. Yeah. Reedsville, Reedsville, Reedsville. You had to get alcohol here, why? Exactly, because that freaking island is a dry island, and so it means that absolutely no alcohol in that island. I don't know how people survive there or are sane at all without any alcohol. It's about 5 p.m. and we're just gonna have some uh, something to eat and probably move on to Kilmarnock. That was a trip to Tangier Island. Follow me for more recipes. <laughs> more recipes. Like Blue Moon with an orange. When you put it here, it gets lost. Where'd it go? <laughs> Thank you, friends. Cat. There was one cat. Okay. One-eyed cat. <laughs> <laughs> I got uh, stung by a mosquito really, really bad. Multiple times. Yeah, those freaking things.